सुबह बे नूर को मैं नहीं मानता मैं नहीं जानता Shilpa, how do you describe yourself? What are you? Well, the closest you can call me is an artist. Yeah. And and here we have a multimedia piece of artwork. Tell us about it. It's an installation in which when you walk in there are 100 microphones hanging from the ceiling and uh, the microphones have been fitted and uh, refitted and you have speakers inside it. It's as if in a state of hysteria what's meant to uh rec- uh record has actually started speaking to you and um what they are speak you sort of wade in and the voices coming from different direction and on and you wade also through a series of 100 spikes and on each one is pierced a poem a verse uh and along with a fragment of uh from a poem by a poet who was incarcerated over time and geography through different places and different moments in history and along with the year uh the poet was detained in and uh, on from top of that uh, you have uh, the verse being read which then gets echoed by 99 other speakers so this is a multimedia experience uh, which people are 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 going to have to walk through have you done anything like this before Yeah of course uh, I mean in fact uh, this is 2018 in 2016 at the Liverpool Biennale I'd shown the second of the series of my interactive uh, video shadow works where you walk in and you see yourself in the video projection and things emerge and react to you and you depending on what you do the shadows move and shift and change when you chose these pieces of poetry you've chosen poetry by people who were imprisoned It seems unbelievable to me that there were a hundred of individual poets. In fact, there were several more uh, within uh, the research period. In fact, in which I was supported by uh, about seven to eight different people who spoke different languages and were from different places in different parts of the world. Uh, there were more than two hundred poets, and the ones. Uh, we have more in the installation are the ones who have been incarcerated and uh, jailed for poetry itself there have been poets who have been jailed for the political alignment there have been poets who have been jailed for indecency or poets who have been even jailed for charges which are fictitious this time and this time tomorrow they cannot take us maybe they will kill us